32 years ago, on 16th June 1976, across many townships of our country, sacrifices were made by youth of that time. entrepreneurship provided the desired remedy. The public and private sector joined forces to build a supportive entrepreneurial ecosystem for the younger generation. We have never really encouraged our young people or people in general to go into entrepreneurship. I've met a number of young entrepreneurs who've come up with opportunities that are new, that are fresh and they need to be encouraged. When you become an entrepreneur, the responsibility to learn how business works becomes your responsibility. We should be proud as a nation that we've got young people who are assisting other young people and creating successful entrepreneurs. I am the product of South Africa's business people in industry and agriculture, commerce and finance, whose spirit of enterprise has helped to turn our country's immense natural resources into the wealth of our nation. My name is Batabile Moregi. I'm a franchisee for national brands uh, in the food industry. So my job entails running my business as an operations manager. I've gained more passion for fish and fish farming in general. artist first, a designer, but yet an MD as well of Conte Africa. Um, it's an agency I started about three and a half years ago. Patrick Mrozi, I come from Venda. I grew, I grew up in Venda. I managed to, to start my own business as you see right now. Even if it's not easy to start a business, but uh, you, have to be, uh, you have to be smart. And the uh, patient, I think, is very, very important. development agency in South Africa, any, we're the only youth development government structure. Um, and basically, if I had to say in one sentence, we're the voice of young people in South Africa. We want to be the thought leader on youth development issues for young people. What we do as CEDA, we are the Small Enterprise Development Agency, and we are the agency of Department of Small Business. So we offer non-financial support to enterprises and we are by far the largest network of um, offices that helps 
SMMEs in the country. CIFA is the Small Enterprise Finance Agency. We are an agency of the Department of Small Businesses. Uh, we were formed in 2012 with the vision of assisting SMMEs and cooperatives uh, to access funding from 500 rands to 5 million. Four o'clock in the morning, I must go straight to the market in order to, to, to buy the stock. But if, if I have enough stock every day, I manage to open the shop seven o'clock in the each and every morning. And when I get here every day, that's why you can see I have a storeroom that side. Every morning, I pick up my crates, I paid my stock nicely each and every day. At the end of the day, I just wanna see myself on top. That's what I want. Daily um, duties that I do includes making sure that we've got enough uh, stuff on shifts, we've got enough stock and um, we do cash up properly. So on a daily basis I will come to the store, open the store, like physically open the store, count the stock because in our business you need to count the stock every day. So we will count the stock, capture the stock on the system and open for the team and allocate uh, the daily duties. And during the day, you check your emails, you, ch you ch check with your suppliers, you ensure that the suppliers are paid, and you stock, um, you know, for the next, uh, for the following day. I got opportunity to study aquaculture at uh, Stellenbosch University, where I studied aquaculture production management, and I've gained more passion for fish and fish farming in general. Aquaculture in South Africa, also known as a fish farming, is a young and developing industry, you know, and with, you know, a opportunity to play a role in, you know, in taking part in, you know, NDP, a vision, a vision at 2030. So what we do um, at the agency is we work with organizations looking to um, utilize our services. We're a service provider that um, designs work for those agencies, but at the same time, some of them are looking for creative writers. So we have those resources available. Some of the team is in-house some team is freelancing. So in that, we develop those artists, we create workshops, we create um, opportunities, and we also give away those jobs to them um, from a freelance standpoint, whether they want to come and work with us for a month. Um, we love working with youth. We love their energy. We love their thinking outside the box type of uh, thinking and we see a lot of them coming to CEDA offices and when they get to our um, branches what we do is business diagnostics so we check how far they are with business are they still um, registering or have they registered their business do they have product do they have marketing material so we look for we look at that and, and ask them some questions. So once we know what they're looking for, we then tailor make according to the needs. It could be a business plan, it could be quality standards that they're looking for um, or marketing material, so we provide them with, with such. Um, we source equipment for entrepreneurs and for the year 2016-2017, 27% of who we helped were youth-based enterprises. In our youth entrepreneurship program, we believe that young people being entrepreneurs, starting their own businesses, is a very critical area to boost the economy. Um, so in that area, we give young people training in how to start their businesses, we give them initial startup capital, we give them post-disbursement support, we give them mentors, and we also assist them with linkage opportunities, so giving them entrepreneurship opportunities in the public and the private sector. We, in 2013, we launched a fund together with IDC, and, and at the time we were still under the Department of Economic Development. We launched a fund that was going to ensure that 
we make funding easily accessible to young people because we know that it is very important for us to start in, um, investing in our young people because the future belongs to them. So we have a, a whole range, actually let me say, all our products do appeal to young people. And over and above that, we also want to make sure that young people have their own special products. So there is the core products that are targeted at young people, but over and above that, every product that we have at CIFA ensures that um, young people can, can, be, can access it. Unfortunately, youth, youth entrepreneurship, especially in previously a disadvantage, is not easy. You know, for instance, myself, it took me about 15 years, you know, to start a small scale farm. You know, it's not easy a way out. You know, it needs patience and patience. And, you know, of course, and support, you know, from a, a government financially and, you know, to assist with a regulation. Creating all these opportunities for you, other young individuals and uh, constantly funding ourselves is not the ideal way to go about it. So uh, we need government support in this, in this instance, just so that way we can continue to grow ourselves even more. Because we just, you know, everybody's at a pinnacle and we're not quite there yet. So we just need that extra jump just to get ahead. So yeah, I think it's really important. I have a, a big goal. Because at the end of the day, I, I want to see, I want to, uh, as you see, you can see right now, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a small business, it's a, it's, a, it's a structure. At the end of the day, maybe I can go straight to the complex or to the mall, I don't have a problem for that, I can, I, I can run the, the big store. You can think big, but the problem is it's, 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 it's finance. I did get a funding from National Empowerment Fund, NEF, which is one of the government initiatives to get black uh, uh, people in, 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 in business. It's very important because remember with our background, we don't have financial resources that can help us to start a business that you have saved on your own. So it helps a lot when the government has stepped in and said, here's the funding that we can help you to start a business. Because there's a lot of those uh, kind of fundings, even CIFA, IDC, you know, so depending on the industry that you are at, so they really, really help. Let's talk about youth. You know, sometimes they don't have knowledge. They don't know where to start. The ecosystem is big, it's broad. So we offer the entire knowledge on how to start a business. So when they get to Cedar Branch, we will start with, have you registered your business? Do you want to register your business? And also show them the different types of businesses. So the challenges that we find in youth is knowledge. Sometimes they do not know where to go and how to start. But with CEDA, we are nurturing ideas. We are helping them not to be scared of entrepreneurship, uh, to, to, to give them the easy route to get to, to know how to start their businesses and how to, um, in the end, commercialize whatever product that they have. Some entrepreneurs think that funding is a solution to their business and yet funding is right at the end of your business. It's at the implementation phase, towards the implementation phase. So people don't understand that. Uh, so people won't really do a proper research on their concept and see the viability of their business, who their competitors are, whether this is going to really turn out the way they envisage it. So that's the key issue, that people need to spend time. If you have an idea, um, young people are very excited about ideas. I mean, young people have got to million ideas running through their heads and they think all of them are going to succeed. So at times people feel that, oh, but you don't understand, um, this is a very good idea. If you cannot, if you cannot put together a very convincing business plan, be able to articulate, be able to convince me so that I can maybe assist you to fill in the gaps, you know? So that's very, very important in terms of funding. And post that, what happens is that once people have access funding, they now have an issue of I've put this thing on paper, but they throw that business plan on shelf 57 
and don't look back and say, okay, if I, if I said by six months I'm going to be here, what is it that I've done wrong that doesn't lead me to, to, point where, to a point where I'm supposed to be at? So I think we often speak about barriers to entry. Um, and there's, there's a couple of things that, that, that are barriers for young people. One of them is access to capital. So if you look at access to capital, commercial banks in South Africa will not really fund startup opportunities. So everybody's trying to minimize their risk. We, we've come up with an uh, innovative proposal to say we won't give people loans because we really want to stimulate entrepreneurship. So we'll give startup grants up to 200,000 rand to give a young person a hand up to get started. From there, we still know that 200,000 is not necessarily enough if you want to take your business to the next level. Sometimes you can spend uh, 5,000 to, to buy a stock, and uh, that time it was no business. You can spend more than 5,000 to, 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 to buy a stock. After that, you, you're going to sell 2,000 rand. 3,000 is a loss. It's a challenge. It's a big challenge. I just want to uh, sell uh, uh, the bulk. I want to sell the, 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 the bulk also. You understand what I'm saying? Because for right now, I can make delivery. Maybe you have a party. Maybe you, you have a funeral. Uh, some people, they, they called me, you know what, uh, Patrick, uh, can you supply me with a five bag of potato, etc., a five bag of uh, tomato. You understand what I'm saying? Because I just want to uh, make sure everything is up to date if I have enough money. Here in Olive and Old Bosch, we get power failure almost every week. Our telephone lines, telecom cables are stolen almost every month. So it's killing small business. Imagine if this is a small business without just a trading for five days. It's very difficult for you to recover uh, the income lost. You know, in business, you need to negotiate with your suppliers, your creditors, people that you owe. You know, sometimes you need to even to negotiate with your team members, explain to them the situation because they are the people that work with you. So every party that is involved in the business, you need to actually go to them and address those challenges and see how maybe you can uh, repay other things in different terms. A lack of a funding, you know, the technology because the industry is still young and developing you know there's no enough technology in South Africa and the feed prices are so high you know and at the quality you know of a fingerling or the quality seed you know so that we can farm successful and a profitability uh, right now there aren't a lot of you know, platforms in, or enough things being done to showcase those um, opportunities for young individuals. Uh, it, it took me maybe about two years to really get to know all the different avenues I can tap into. So having known that, I wish I could have known sooner, I could have applied for more, I could have done more. And I think if I'm feeling that way and I'm, I'm in a space where so much, is, so much information is available, um, there's clearly something missing. We certainly do support informal businesses. Um, the township economy is something which is very close to us in the NYD because there's so much leverage for growth in that area. So we often do outreach activities. Um, so we go deep into rural communities to advise them. But while we're there, we allow them to apply for the different products and services. We do help uh, informal uh, businesses. We have a program called Basic Entrepreneurship Skills Development, and we assist them in mentoring and coaching. So we give them basic skills, such as um, how to, you know, file your financial records and how to, you know, help your business grow. So we give them the basics of business. We also have a good re relationship with the CIPC. So we can really assist a, an informal business in getting to that formalized way. So we're registering them on the CIPC database, uh, making sure they have the registration documents because that assists them then in becoming accessible to the market. So selling their products beyond just this informal setup to the formal economy as well. What I've been motivated to do is find mentors. Uh, whether you find someone who wants to mentor you, 
whether you find a friend who just gives you advice and Jay, like you know you have those friends who are like no don't do this do this um also just make sure that they're actually giving you good advice and not someone who's trying to you know uh ruin things for you but um you want to find that kind of system because sometimes if you can't find it at home it's not to say that oh i don't find it at home i can't do it some people don't have that but they didn't stop themselves from still succeeding so you just um you you find the right people uh, i think it's 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 ideal to find the right people find the right um uh, mentors and motivators I can say if you want to start your own business, invest in research more than even trying to get funding first so that you can understand the business that you want to enter into and go to those businesses and learn as much as you can get, you know, because the youth, everybody will think that entrepreneurship, you can just wake up and open up a business, but it's not as easy as that. Hence, even with employment, they will say they need experience. Same with entrepreneurship, you need to gain some skills. So go there and shadow business owners in the, in the industry that you like, you know, develop your own business plan. Don't use a consultant, you know, not that you'll only save money, but the, the business plan, it will also be a map for you when you start your business. So now you'll have a better understanding how you need to run your business. I, I just want to encourage youth, you know what, youth, please just stand up and make your own. Even if it's not the fruit and veg uh, business, it's, it's a lot of business you can start with. It's not a problem. Even if you, you have a big dreams or you have a mind, if you don't have a, 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 that power or you don't have that idea, you can ask somebody else in order to guide you. You know what, maybe you have money, you, 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 you don't have an idea to start a business. You, go, you, you can go out there, look somebody who can sit, sit down with you and advise you. The message that I want to take out, especially to young people, is the magazines sit around or think they are entitled to something because they are black or what. You know, they must push and you know make an impact. You know, I think young people we are not entitled, you know, to anything in this country. You know, we must push and show the interest that we want to do this and we want, we want to make this country better. We have a national footprint in CIFA, so we are available in all nine provinces as regional offices. So what we do is that we collaborate with CIDA, we have what we call collocations with CIDA predominantly IDC, but also with municipalities at times. We in the deeper rural areas, if you go to a CEDA office, you will then inquire about CIFA and you'll be able to get assistance. So that's how we reach out to, um, to as many people as possible. However, with that said, we do have regional um, a presence. So for those people who want to come to our offices directly in each province, they could find us there. But for those people who are far from the biggest um, towns perhaps, can access CIFA information and funding through CEDA and IDC network. We have currently 17 branches which operate through the country, so those are spread across provinces in South Africa. We're also anticipating opening up another 17 offices in the new financial year to, to get our services closer to young people because we do understand that we're not that accessible at the moment. Um, we also publish a, a schedule of outreach events, so we, we go to communities which are close to young people. You can access us through our website, www.nyd.gov.za. And then we also have a mobile application which is available on the Google Play Store and the Apple Store, which can be downloaded for young people to then access our products and services. We are available on um, social network. We are on Facebook as the CEDA.DSBD. We have a Twitter account, handle at CEDA underscore DSPD and we have an Instagram it's also CEDA underscore DSPD and um, youth can interact with us there um, they can also you know visit our branches <laughs>